what's up guys, it's Brandon. I'm making this video for a couple reasons. One, um, I just want to let you guys know that my uh, stainless steel three four, quarter of an inch tunnels came in. Um, they're pretty cool, and I actually today I also ordered these stone plugs. They're obsidian fluorite stone plugs, and they're black, and they got like these white colored specks in them. They look pretty cool, but I ordered them today. Well, it's after midnight, so technically yesterday. But, uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. So I want to tell you about that, but uh, there's uh, another thing I want to talk about. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I want to tell you guys about this girl I know. This girl I know, I'm not going to mention her name because I don't know if she would want me to, and I'm going to respect her privacy. Well, I've known her for about seven years, and we've dated in the past. And this isn't the same girl that I mentioned in the I'm Back video. This is a different girl. But we dated in the past. I met her when I was 16. I'm almost 24 now. And, uh, yeah, we dated for a while, but then I, w I was really stupid, and I didn't know what I wanted, so I broke up with her. Well, over the past five months, I've realized my true feelings for her, and how much I care about her, and the fact that I, I am in love with her. And, um, honestly, I mean, I know this is cheesy as hell, but... The way she makes me feel is like indescribable. I, I just I don't even know how to fathom it, honestly. But see, the thing is, you know, we went out again like a few weeks ago, but she said she wanted to take it slow, and it's not because she doesn't like me or because she doesn't want to be with me. That I know for sure. I've known her long enough to know. The only reason she did that is because she's been hurt so many times. So many people have, have breaking broken her heart, and it's. Um, for lack of a better word, it's heartbreaking to just know what she's actually been through, you know, and, you know, she's been cheated on, she's been beat, she's been, you know, you name it, it's probably happened to her, I mean, but she's a strong person and she doesn't let it affect her, but it, it does affect her in the sense that she doesn't want to let anybody else in because she's afraid to be hurt again. But, I'm making this video because I'm in hopes that she might watch this one day. She'll know who I'm talking about. That I want her to be with me. I want you to be with me. And, she will, she will never get hurt. She'll never feel another ounce of pain. Because I won't let that happen. The way I feel is just, the way I feel about her is, I just want to be there for her. I want to love her. I do love her, and I want uh, I want her to have a shoulder to cry on, and I want her to feel protected and safe. And I just I don't know how to, you know, convince her. I mean, I've told her this over and over, and you know, I've told her the sweetest things I could think of that I felt, and you know how much I really care, and it's just. She just doesn't want to let anybody in. She has a tendency to run away. Like, not literally, but just from her problems and from people. Because she has been hurt so many times. And I understand I understand that she's been hurt. I mean, I've been hurt, too. I mean, I've been cheated on. I've been lied to. I've been deceived in all kinds of different ways. You know, because most of the girls I date weren't women. They were girls. I mean, not, you know, young girls. They were, like, my age. Or maybe one or two years younger. But... The f simple fact of it is, they were very immature, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, I make mistakes too, but, you know, I, I've never hit a girl, I've never cheated on a girl, I've never done anything like that, just because I don't, I don't believe in infidelity, I believe in staying faithful, and if you're going to truly give yourself to somebody that you have to be, you know, commit to it. And not give up when times are hard. Just stick the, stick together forever. And just stay there for each other. And work and fight at it. Because if you don't fight at it, I mean, it won't work. Because, I mean, there's so many differences that people have. And me and her, we have some similarities. But we're different in a lot of aspects. And, you know, that doesn't bother me. I mean, I just, I really want to be with her. And if she does watch this... You know, I hope it doesn't embarrass her, but it really shouldn't because I didn't say her name, so nobody really knows who she is except for me. <clears throat> but, I mean, things have happened that just... I, I, I started to realize that I loved her about five months ago. And I didn't tell anybody because 
you know, I, I mean, I have, you know, people think, well, you always say you love this person. Well, I've only truly been in love twice. One with this, with this person who was horrible and treated me like crap, who I'm no longer with. And two, this girl that I'm talking about now. I've known her a lot longer. She's never, ever hurt me. Um, she's always been there for me. And I just, I know if she decides to be with me that she'll be truly happy because I'll make her happy. I won't hurt her. I won't do anything. You know, I mean, I'm not perfect. I'll make mistakes. But, I mean, nobody's perfect. I mean, but she is perfect for me. And I, I just, I feel this with everything I have. Literally everything in myself. I, I, I know and I can feel and I just want her in my arms. And this video, I mean, it took a lot of courage for me to make this video. Because there's probably going to be some douchebags out there who are going to say, oh, you're a fucking homo, blah, blah, blah. You know, just because, you know, I'm a guy and I'm not supposed to really share how I feel. Well, here's the difference between me and most guys. Me, I'm a real per I'm a real guy. I, I tell people how I feel. I'm honest. And if someone doesn't like it, I don't care. You know, I, I believe that if you're going to you know, be with somebody, you gotta really tell them how you feel, and I just, I had to make this video because I want her to know that, and she does know that, because I have told her, you know, we talked about it tonight for two or three hours, you know, and when she spends the night, you know, I like to cuddle and hold her, and, you know, just be there for her, and I, I can't say this about a lot of people, because there's very few people in my life that I trust. And honestly, the only people I trust in my life is my aunt. Actually, two aunts. My mother and my father. And then this girl. Those are the only people that I trust. Um, I don't trust any of my friends. Because my friends have screwed me, you know, six ways to Sunday. And they you know, like, ditch me, and, you know, I've, I've not saying I'm perfect, I've, I've made mistakes, and I've done things to people, you know, like, back a long time ago, when I was with this one girl, you know, all I did was talk about her, and people got annoyed with it, and I lost friends because of it, and I, I all, you know, I don't really care if I've lost friends, because, you know, if, I know it could be annoying, but if they were really friends, they would have stuck by me, and there's only two people who have stuck by me, that's my friend, um, one of my friends, I'm not gonna mention his name, but he he's all he's always stuck with me through hard times. And then there's this girl who's been there for me emotionally, and she's always understood how I feel because I, I'm kind of a reclusive person. I'm not very open to people that I don't trust. And uh, um. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to express anything else because I've already told her how I felt several times, several times, and I don't want to force myself on her because that's not up to me. I mean, she knows that I want, and I I know in my heart that we're meant to be together, but it's up to her to let the floodgates down and just let me in. And I hope one day she'll realize that, and I hope she'll let me in and let me treat her like the real woman she is and I just I can't ex I can't understand why so many people have hurt you know hurt her she's one she's the best person I know she's honest she truly cares about people even when people didn't care about her she she's always there for people she's always been there for me no matter what and I have I, I haven't always been there for her I mean, for the most part, I have, but in some aspects, in some areas, I was, you know, scarce in her times of need, and I just want her to know that that'll never happen again. I mean, sincerely, I promise that will never happen again. Um, all I want to do is just hold her. I mean, we've known each other for seven years, and I honestly know that, you know, I would marry her, you know, because... And 
I'm not saying if we get back together, I'm going to immediately propose. No, I'm not going to do that, because I'm not going to rush into anything. But I am going to fully commit myself to her, because I, I do love her, and she means everything to me. And I know this is a long video, and I'm talking a lot, but I just, I had to get this out some way. You know, my parents know how I feel about her now. I told them, like, a month or two ago. They know how I feel, and they, they love her. They think she's amazing. You know, and she she has a son. And, you know, I would, I would like to... A lot of guys would run from that. They would be like, well, I don't want to take care of someone else's kid. But, you know, I'm not like that. I would step up and be a role model or a father figure because... Um, his real douchebag, asshole, piece of shit father won't do anything for him. He, he won't get a job. He won't do shit, you know, and he, he's a piece of shit. And, you know, if I could just, if I could get my hands on him, I'd, I'd, <sighs> seriously, but that's beside the point. The point is, I would be there for her, I would be there for her son, and I would do anything and, and everything in my power to keep them safe and keep her happy, and I just can't imagine myself without her. I, I need her, and I love her. But anyway, not, I'm not going to keep this too long, but, um, you know, if you do see this, I just want you to know I love you, and I know you feel the same way, so this has been Brandon. See you guys later.